how can we be sure that animals such as pigs actually have a subjective world of needs sensations and emotions aren't we guilty of humanizing animals for example ascribing human qualities to non human entities like children believing that dolls feel love and anger in fact attributing emotions to pig doesn't humanize them it mammalizes them for emotions are not a uniquely human quality they are common to all mammals as well as to all birds and probably to some reptiles and even fish all mammals evolved emotional abilities and needs and from the fact that pigs are mammals we can safely deduce that they have emotions in recent decades life scientists have demonstrated that emotions are not some mysterious spiritual phenomena that is useful for writing poetry and composing symphonies rather emotions are biochemical algorithms that are vital for the survival and reproduction of all mammals what does this mean well let's begin by explaining what an algorithm is this is of great importance an algorithm is a methodical set of steps that can be used to make calculations resolve problems and reach decisions an algorithm isn't a particular calculation but the method followed when making the calculation for example if you want to calculate the average between two numbers you can use a simple algorithms the algorithm says first step add the two numbers together second step divide the sum by 2 when you enter the numbers 4 and 8 you get 6 when you enter 117 and 231 you get 174 A more complex example is a cooking recipe and a logarithm for preparing vegetable soup may tell us heat half a cup of oil in a pot finely chop four onions fry the onion until golden cut three potatoes into chunks and add to the pot slice a cabbage into strips and add to the pot and so forth you can follow the same algorithm dozens of times each time using slightly different vegetables and therefore getting a slightly different soup but the algorithm remains the same a recipe by itself cannot make soup you need a person to read the recipe and follow the prescribed set of steps but you can build a machine that embodies this algorithm and follows it automatically then you just need to provide the machine with water electricity and vegetables and it will prepare the soup by itself there aren't many soup machines around but you are probably familiar with beverage vending machines Such machines usually have a slot for coins and opening for cups and rows of buttons. The first row has button for coffee, tea and cocoa. The second row is marked no sugar, 1 spoon of sugar, 2 spoons of sugar. The third row indicates milk, soy milk, no milk. A man approaches the machine, inserts a coin into the slot and presses the button marked tea, 1 sugar and milk. The machine kicks into action following a precise set of steps. It drops a tea bag into a cup, pours boiling water, adds a spoonful of sugar and milk, ending a nice cup of tea emerges. This is an algorithm. Over the last few decades, biologists have reached the firm conclusion that the man pressing buttons and drinking the tea is also an algorithm. a much more complicated algorithm than the vending machine no doubt but still an algorithm humans are algorithms that produce no cup of teas but copies of themselves like a vending machine which if you press the right combination of buttons produces another vending machine the algorithms controlling vending machine work through mechanical gears and electric circuits the algorithms controlling humans work through sensations emotions and thoughts and exactly the same kind of algorithms control pigs baboons otters and chickens consider for example the following survival problem a baboon spots some bananas hanging on a tree but also notices a lion lurking nearby should the baboon risk his life for those bananas this boils down to a mathematical problem of calculating 
probabilities the probability that baboon will die of hunger if he does not eat the bananas versus the probability that the lion will catch the baboon in order to solve this problem the baboon needs to take into account a lot of data how far i am from the banana how far away is the lion how fast can i run how fast can the lion run is the lion awake or asleep does the lion seem to be hungry or satisfied how many bananas are there are they big or small green or ripe in addition to these external data the baboon must also consider information about conditions within his own body if he is starving it makes sense to risk everything for those bananas no matter the odds in contrast if he is just eaten and the bananas are mere greed why take any risks at all in order to weigh and balance all these variables and probabilities the baboon requires far more complicated algorithms than the ones controlling automatic vending machine the price for making correct calculation is correspondingly greater the price is the very survival of the baboon a timid baboon one whose algorithms overestimate dangers will starve to death and the genes that shape these cowardly algorithms will perish with him a rash baboon one whose algorithms underestimate dangers will fall prey to the lion and his reckless genes will also fail to make it to the next generation these algorithms undergo contrast quality control by natural selection only animals that calculate probabilities correctly leaves offsprings behind yet this is all very abstract how exactly does a baboon calculate probabilities he certainly doesn't draw a pencil from behind his ear a notebook from a back pocket and start computing running speeds and energy levels with a calculator rather the baboon's entire body is a calculator what we call sensations and emotions are in fact algorithms the baboon feels hunger he feels fear and trembling at the sight of the lion and he feels his mouth watering at the sight of bananas within a split second he experiences a storm of sensations emotions and desires which is nothing but the process of calculation the result will appear as a feeling the baboon will suddenly feel his spirit rising his hair standing on end his muscles tensing his chest expanding and he will inhale a big breath and forward i can do it to bananas alternatively he may be overcome by fear his shoulders will drop his stomach will turn his legs will give way and mama a lion help sometimes the probabilities match so evenly that it is hard to decide this is too will manifest itself as a feeling the baboon will feel confused and indecisive yes no yes no damn i don't know what to do in order to transmit genes to the next generation it is not enough to solve survival problems animals also need to solve reproduction problems too and this depends on calculating probabilities natural selection evolved passion and disgust as quick algorithm for evaluating reproduction odds beauty means good chances for having successful offspring when a woman sees a man and thinks wow he's gorgeous and when a peahen sees a peacock and thinks jesus what a tail they are doing something similar to the automatic vending machine as light reflected from the male's body hits their retinas extremely powerful algorithms honed by millions of years of evolution kick in within a few milliseconds the algorithms convert tiny cues in the male's external appearance into reproduction probabilities and reach the conclusion in all likelihood this is a very healthy and fertile male with excellent genes if i mate with him my offsprings are also likely to enjoy good health and excellent genes of course this conclusion is not spelled out in words or numbers but in the fiery itch of sexual attractions peahens and most women don't make such conclusions with pen and paper they just feel them
even nobel laureates in economics make only a tiny fractions of their decisions using pen paper and calculator 99% of our decisions including the most important life choices concerning spouses career and habitats are made by the highly refined algorithms we call sensations emotions and desires